everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so this is just a disclaimer before i go into the intro of this vlog the whole vlog i have looked back over it and turns out i was showing you my sweaty armpits the whole time so please excuse the sweaty armpits in this video i wear natural deodorant so i sweat i don't have like yeah i don't have an antiperspirant i sweat so you will see it in most videos if you look hard enough so spot the sweats and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while for those of you that are new to my channel. My name is Nicola. I am a nutrition. Well, recently I've gone back to study nutrition. Um, I'm also a health blogger and I have a granola business and I also run online programs for women with acne. But today we're not talking about any of that. I'm randomly doing a hair routine vlog because it is my most commonly asked question. How do I do my curls? What shampoo and conditioner do I use? Um, how do I maintain my curls? That is why I thought I would do a tutorial on how I get my beachy waves. So I personally wash my hair in the evening or um, on the weekend early in the morning and then I l allow my hair to dry naturally. I just don't like blow drying my hair because I find that my hair gets super dry and I get way more split ends and way more flyaways. So if that is one tip I've learned over the past four years from my hairdresser, which is Bristol Bones, um, then that is one amazing tip they've given me. So the next section I wanted to get on to before I go into the tutorial is what hair products I use. Now, um, this is not a sponsored video, a disclaimer, so none of these products have been sent to me. I've purchased every single one of them because I do find it quite difficult to find hair care that I like and that actually works for my hair. So um, before using Kevin Murphy, I was using Purology. I love Purology hair care. So um, that is another brand which I absolutely love and highly recommend. I will pop some of the products that I used in the section below so you can have a choice of, you know, if you want to purchase any of these products. Um, I now at the moment use Kevin Murphy. I've been using this for about six months now. So I use the Hydrate Me Rinse Kakadu Plum Infused Moisture Delivery System for colored hair. So this is the conditioner. And then I use the Young Again Wash Immortel um, Baobab. Baobab? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, infused Restorative Softening Shampoo. So these are amazing, um, but this is not like a blonde shampoo or anything. It is supposed to be for colored hair, but um, I, I don't have any blonde shampoo at the moment. When I have blonde shampoo, I use the Purology brand, um, which I'll pop in the section below anyway. If you guys want a good blonde shampoo, it's really amazing. I just have run out of it. Um, now, after I've had my shower and I've brushed my hair, where is my brush? I think I'm gonna have to get that in a second. Um, after I've had my shower, shampoo and conditioned, I will spray this Purology Perfect for Platinum Miracle Filler Treatment. I don't have much of this left, but I love it. And I mean, I guess it's doing something because my hair has been in great condition recently. So I've been using this for about four months. Um, it lasts a long time and I think it's a really good product. And then in terms of a heat protectant, so I like to put this on, which I literally have nothing left. Um, I like to put this on just before I curl my hair. So this is by Evo and I just spray it on and then brush my hair and then start curling my hair. The last product that I use is by Catwalk. It's called Straight Collection Blowout Balm. You need the smallest amount. I mean, I'm pretty certain this product is probably off because I've had it for, <laughs> like I think I've had it before Mitch, which is like five years now. So, I mean, it's still working. So I'm just gonna keep on using it. But I use the smallest amount because if you use a large amount, your hair goes really greasy. So just keep that in mind. But if you have really frizzy hair, this is amazing. Um, now I'm just gonna get my brush, which has been chewed by Napoleon. And then I'm gonna come back and get straight into the tutorial. What I like to do is putting my 
top half of my hair up. Ah, so I'll just do it in a little bun. And, and I've got this little clip here. Oh my god. So now my straightener's been on for a while. This is quite an old straightener. I think it's like one of the first GHD versions it was actually a hand-me-down from my sister so thank you Sarah so I like to sort of straighten my hair in really tiny pieces I don't like really thick pieces because I find that the curls sort of screw up so if you want to start by putting the straightener at the base and then turning it away from you so leave it at the top for a bit pull it down twirl it away from you remember to twirl away and then it curls. Remember to do little pieces. You can try and do big pieces, but I find that um, it just never works as well. This is actually quite difficult doing it in front of a camera. Uh, another tip, if you can't do the back of your hair very well, which is understandable, um, I like to bring half of my hair forward and I just bring some of the pieces from the back to the front and I just start halfway down the hair piece. So, you know, no one's really gonna see the curls underneath, like the start of them, because you're gonna have all the curls from the top of your head um, at the back of your head. So um, that's how I like to sort of conquer the the back of my hair split that in half make sure there's no knots in it start about there and remember curl away from you there we go bring it forward again look for the straight bits I just like to take the curls away so I'm gonna take that bit of hair there And that's it for now. So probably at the end, I'll go back and find some more pieces. But, you know, if you're in a rush, just keep going. You don't need to be that coordinated, guys. It looks harder than it is, trust me. If I can do it, you can do it. So when I'm doing my front pieces here, the trick is to place your hair straightener, get a small piece and place your hair straightener at the very top. Leave it there for a second and start to twirl your straightener. And remember to move it away. So that's the first curl there. So it looks a bit over the top, but when you brush it through, it looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again with a small piece of hair. So that's sort of the how big I'm talking. The top of your finger is how wide it should be. I'm gonna start from the base again. Away from your head and continually twirl it. Now when you're doing the back of your hair, I still move the straightener away from me. It feels a bit weird, but you're pretty much doing the same thing as you've done to the rest of your hair. So this is the first side of my hair, which is pretty much done. I may go through a little bit at the end, but as you can see, it looks really piecey, but once you brush it through, it looks really nice and wavy and it will eventually drop. So it's not really bouncy anyway, but um, it just will turn into like a really nice wave. So I'm gonna start on the other side, which I find more difficult because it is my left hand, but um, 
you know this was the side that took a little bit more time to get used to but I think as long as you do little small pieces go slow and move the straightener away from you when you're straightening it um, you'll be fine <laughs> Okay guys, so now my hair is done. As you can see, it is quite curly. So now I'm going to brush all of the curls through. And that is that. So what I like to do is every couple of days when I, after I've gone to the gym or I wake up and my hair's a little bit of a mess, I'll just go over some of the curls. Gradually, um, the curls will drop, particularly if you like to put your hair in a ponytail or if you do exercise and you put your hair in a... Um, I tend to put my hair in a bun. I won't do it now because I'll mess them up, but I put my hair in a bun when I go and do exercise and I find that it does sort of keep them intact a little bit longer than if I was to put them in a ponytail. I also don't get like a big bump in my hair so that is my curl routine obviously I'm not a hairdresser it's not perfect but that is how I do my hair and you guys always ask so that is that and I also like to just finish with a tiny bit of this catwalk serum honestly tiny like we're talking it looks like a piece of spit tiny tiny because I don't like a lot of product in my hair and I just think it makes your hair quite greasy Particularly, I don't like hairspray either, so I never put hairspray in my hair. I just put like a little bit of serum and a spray after my shower in wet hair. So that is it, guys. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe to my channel if you like this content so I know that you want to see more. Um, definitely check out the section below because I've listed all of the products that I used in this video, and once again, it was not sponsored, so all of these products I purchased myself and I love, and um, yeah, you should definitely check them out if you are in search of some new hair products. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!